Yeah, so should we tell everyone about FedEx? Yeah, let's tell not everyone. everyone knows about yeah, FedEx. Let's tell them. Go on, go ahead. You tell them. It is a, without trying to read my laptop, it is a plumbing and heating show. Plumbing and heating exhibition, funnily enough. Exhibition. And it's it what is, the X is. You know what I mean? It is the Big longest giveaway. running show dedicated to plumbing and heating. Oh, really? We had a comment sent in from uh, Baron Greenback. You can't go wrong with Makita. The Japanese know a thing or two about electric motors. Festool Impact Driver is very well engineered too. Unfortunately, in order to get the best quality whilst maintaining value for money, you can't stick to one brand and end up having mixed manufacturers in your kit. The different battery systems make this impractical, really. My mate has a DIY level Ryobi that literally seems to have run forever. It wasn't expensive at all, it does the job, so he bought a second as a backup and he's not spent half of, say, a single Festool and they both do exactly the same thing. Exactly what we were saying, Kieran, mm. isn't it? Do you know what I mean? You can get away with doing the job with not all the shiny, oh, sorry, beautiful, I, expensive I used tools that are out there. You know what I mean? It's like, you, you don't need to. You don't need to. Hello, welcome to... Off the Job! Overtime, where there's banter and your story shared. Please be warned, there may be some general explicit content. Okay, hello. Welcome to Off the Job. Overtime. Um, had a lovely weekend. Um, we've had a couple of complaints. Um... You will notice that my mic is more in my face than usual because people can't hear me because I'm too animated at times, I believe, and I move away. You're like from a yo-yo, you like this. I can't help it. It's just something wrong with me. That's just what I do. Kev was the same last week. You know, I can't help it. I, I've, I'm trying. He to. was like, he's more fidgety than you. He's going around like this. I'm trying to calm myself down a bit. Do you know what I mean? I'm trying to stop the swearing. I'm trying to stop moving about so much because I realise that it is affecting the podcast. So I'm taking it very seriously from now on, all right? How you been, Pete? I'm all right, mate. Yeah, yeah. not too bad, yeah. We are going to Fex next week. We are going to Fex next week, yeah. I can't wait, actually. got very. I've got a social media week next week. Mm. Very social media week next week. I'm really looking forward to it because I'm not on my knees so much. Do you know what I mean? I mean... It... Oh. <laughs> Why? Why are you laughing? What? You have got grazes on your knees. I know, yeah. You've got grazes on my knees. Um, yeah, so should we tell everyone about FEX? Yeah, let's tell not everyone. everyone about knows FEX. about yeah. FEX. Let's tell them. Go on, go ahead. You tell them. It is a, without trying to read my laptop, it is a plumbing and heating show. Plumbing and heating exhibition, funnily enough. Exhibition. And it's it what is. The X is. You know what I mean? It is the Big longest giveaway. running show dedicated to plumbing and heating. Oh, really? When did it start? It started. Um, Sorry, I didn't get that date. <laughs> <laughs> it's the longest, but it's, I don't know the it's date. It's the longest running show, but we have no idea what year it's. We could find out. I'm sure someone could Google it's it. It's celebrating its 30th anniversary. Wow, this year. 30 years! That would have made Blimey. you free when it started, wouldn't it? Older than your missus. <laughs> sorry, mate. Wow. <laughs> sorry. I sorry. mean, I mean, wow. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, absolutely wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. I like it though, Kieran. I like Can it. Can we I celebrate? Like, I like the humour. Yeah, Brit. <laughs> Can we have some like a round of applause sound work in there for Kieran? Well done. Oh, I'll, be, I'll be doing stand up soon. Yeah, well, I don't know about that because you just don't get the jokes like I tried earlier. You, I you were sitting there scratching his head going, don't get it. My mind was elsewhere. Yeah. So yeah, at FEX, we are going to be doing a live show. We are. So next week on the 11th at 3.20 p.m. in FEX, it's going to be at a London Olympia. Mm -hmm. It's for two days, Wednesday and Thursday. Yep. Yeah, so we're going to be there all day Wednesday filming and do our own live show in the afternoon. So yeah. Coming Looking forward to that. to that. I mean, look at us, right? We've been doing this podcast seven months and we've, this will be a second live show. Oh, I mean, crazy. who do we think we are? <laughs> who do we think we are? I see James English hasn't even done a live show yet. And he is the Don, mate. Do you know what I mean? Of like podcasts. Yeah, he's, he's getting ready to do his live show. We're done. Oh, We're mate. We're veterans too. at this live show <laughs> podcast shit now. Do you know what I mean? But um, yeah, no, really looking forward to it. Yeah, we're going to have a, some... A special guest we'll, on. We'll have a guest on, yeah. Special guest. Audience interaction. Audience interaction. I love a bit of audience interaction. The last yeah. one we done had really good it audience was good, interaction, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, mm. really good. So, um, yeah, there's something to look forward to there, hopefully. And, I mean, if you've not seen us before or you are going to FX, mate, tell your mates, tell your friends, yeah? 
tell, tell, tell her that we're here, yeah. you know. And then like, also, we'll, we'll fill a room, hopefully. If you haven't got your tickets, this could be embarrassing now. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't got your tickets, it's free. We'll put the link in the description below wherever you're watching. Yeah. Kushti, nice, nice info, Kieran. Next time, Thank you. try and find out if you're going to say something that is time related. Try and find out when it started. Well, you know what I mean? You'd think that'd be a good put, idea. You'd think they'd put that on there. <laughs> now, why should you swing by Fex and catch our live show? First off, Fex is where you get to see all the latest in the industry, from the newest tech to the latest gear. It's especially key now with the government pushing for more renewable tech by installing 600,000 heat pumps by 2028. If you're in the trade, staying updated isn't just good practice. It's essential to ensure you're giving your customers the best advice. Yeah, you know what I mean? I'm really looking forward to this heat pump bit. Mm. But yeah, anyway. I am, I am, I am. I'm looking forward to... Get, I, I am trying... Get your teeth into it. ...to be more proactive in innovation. Because to be fair, I've not been. So this show, I'm going to actually take my time to look at things a bit more in depth than just normal shows. I just swing around like this. I don't even buy any tools or anything. I just swing around the shows and I go, yeah, yeah, right, I'm only here to see such and such. <laughs> <laughs> or I'm only here to work for such and such. But uh, this, this year, I think I might take a more, you know, detailed approach and take things in this mm. year. You know what I mean? Uh, it was good last year, wasn't it? We went there good, last yeah. year, didn't we? We yeah. went to Fex last year on a like a, on a day out, weren't we? It was mm. we were sort of last year. We was like doing a bit of what? What would you call it last year? Bit of um, what did we what did we call it in the industry? What did we call it? Um um um, come on, help me out. What were we doing last year? A day out. It was a day out, but what do you call it? <laughs> team Te well, team building was one. Team bonding. And then was we um, was we networking? We were networking, networking, weren't we? Yeah. We were networking. That's what yeah? it's about. And that's what networking Even for does. Trace people. See, we was networking last year at FEX, and now we are actually at FEX. So networking works. All right, so come at FEX. That's proof in the pudding. Love yeah, it. Yeah, it's eh? key, isn't it? Have you... I, I haven't read much about this. I see the messages floating about, but Oasis reunite, reunites after a 15-year feud. <laughs> With tour planned for 2025. I mean, that would be great. I was at um, I was at V Festival when they blew it out. Um, this, they was meant to turn up. They was meant to turn up, and we was all we was all there for our Oasis. We was there for our Oasis. I need we couldn't to think wait. about this. And at the last minute, they had a row. They kicked off with each other, and they blew it out. Didn't turn up. They had to get bloody Snow Patrol there. Do you know I've met Snow Patrol? I've met Noel and Liam. Who was it, Liam or Noel? I'm going to mess up now. But anyway, I used to work in the guitarist for U2 band in his house. Oh, did you? We used to maintain his house, look after his swimming pool. Yeah. And um, Ever thought about getting on one as a guest? This is how bad <laughs> I am. What? Oh, he's saying we need to get someone big. You worked in his house. This is how bad it is. Though. It weren't his guitar you had the other week on that phone. Do, you know <laughs> Do you know how bad I am at knowing people? Yeah, yeah. So I was in the, I was in the, um, what would you call Basement? it? Call it an undercroft. Right. They run all the pipes through there. Me and a uh, guy I was working with, um, Sean, our head was just popped out of that. And then he comes walking down. I didn't even recognise him. <laughs> right. And, and Sean was like, that, that's Noel from Oasis. I was like, oh, bloody hell. And um, and I didn't even recognise him. You didn't recognise him. And we see Liam. I was with my mate Chris, jet washing at Fitzroy Park in London. Um, was just jet washing outside the house and he come walking past. We actually got a photo with him. Did you? Yeah, he put his hood up. Like, as if Have you got the photo still? Yeah. Oh, put it on here then. I put it. I'll find it. Yeah, find it, put it on here. Yeah, that, that was Liam. No photo, didn't happen, mate. So I've actually met them both in person. Blimey. I mean, well, did you did you say anything to Noel? Did you say anything to him? No. And he just trod on your head as he walked past. Liam, I should have <laughs> said, do you, want, do you want your garden jet washed? I should have said that. <laughs> That's bad, isn't it? That's mm. good. Yeah, yeah. And you never Because they all live of, in that area. You never thought of getting in touch with the guy from you too. I didn't know him personally. Oh. He yeah. had like house made and yeah. they all have maids and stuff. No good they? name dropping then, is it? Really? You don't really know him. <laughs> I didn't start playing his is, guitar with him. Does he remember the name? Because at that? the moment it's just the guitarist from YouTube. His name is Adam Clayton. Oh. There we go. Oh, well, there you go. I'm not normally good at names, but I remember it. Adam that's, that's Clayton. Good. Yeah, I like that. So, Karen's yeah, on form we, today. 
we, we, we was meant to see him, and yeah, we gutted, obviously. I did go to see him at Wembley, Oasis, and they was uh, they had Kasabian as a backing band. Ah, oh, Kasabian. Amazing Kasabian. Absolutely incredible they was. Um, but yeah. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed Oasis. So mm. this will be everyone. I don't know how everyone, any of their their songs, songs, you know. Know. All my mates are going mad for it at the moment. Mm. Like, like they're, did I just say an Oasis like euphemism? Mad for it. Is that what they say? That sort of thing, wasn't it? That you say that. You're too young, Robbie. You don't know, do you? If they had come together, I'd probably go and see them. But I don't know many of their songs, to be honest. Didn't you? No. Maybe I don't now as well. I'm probably gonna have some new ones probably come up, didn't they? But that that yeah, that'll be fun. That'll be fun. Um, right, well, uh, say a little thank you to everyone who has followed us and subscribed as we hit a thousand followers, subscribers, whatever you want to call it on YouTube. So thanks very much, appreciate it. And if you could subscribe, if you're just watching this video, it would be very great for the channel to keep us going. Follow us on Spotify if you're on there. Yeah. Any other channels? Any other channels? Give us a follow if you could. We're not we're not forcing you to. We're just saying if you if you want. It helps. It helps and do it. Do you know what I mean? Can so, I bring uh, something up? Because it's coming to the end of the holiday season. Yeah. I get if people have kids, they have to go in the holiday season. But you see a lot of like groups of friends go away or two friends go on holiday in the holiday season with no kids. It's more expensive. Yeah. I get it. Suppose if you go in Spain, mm. it's their summer as well. But if you go Turkey, surely it's hot October now. Mm. Why yeah. do people go choose to go away in August when it's prime time? No idea. It's expensive. I, 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 I'll give you an example of this. I don't even know if I've covered this before, but I went to Disney World with my kids mm. and there were people there, yeah, queuing up. Like adults queuing up to see the princesses and the characters. Never understood it. Same thing. Why do you want to go when there's like loads of like families and kids around? Like, Why don't you just mm. want to go when... Some people work in schools, so like... That, well, yeah, pref possibly they're teachers, yeah. Kieran. Take that away be... anyone, anything like that yeah, yeah, yeah. regarding you, if you need to do that time. Just people have normal jobs. They decide to go away in the busy period. Yeah, I know. Don't really and make you, sense, you, does it? You want to enjoy... You want to go away when it's bad here. Yeah. If people go away and check the weather, what it's like at home, think, oh, thing fuck, is, it's, it's a bit of a... It's a bit mean, in it, of the air cape, like the, the companies, like, and that, to actually put prices up, hike, price hikes during the school holidays, right? Mm. The, the prices go massively up, right? And then you know profits or benefits. That doesn't actually happen in many industries. Think of another industry, industry where they put the prices does. up. Well, they put the prices up in the winter <laughs> when you need the gas. They, it's, corrupt as, it's corrupt as anything mm. in this country. And they do it in the holidays. And do you know what? Do you know the people who actually benefit from this as well, right? Because the private schools have longer holidays than the standard comprehensive schools, what the private school people do, right? They go out of season just. So not only are they saving money, they make more money anyway. And that's where money goes to money comes from because if you've got money, you better, you, you, more money's going to come and you get more benefits, didn't you? It don't seem fair. Don't seem fair to me that. It's never seemed fair that. Mm. You know, but it happens. So, you know, also got to say is my birthday falls on the October half term. Mm -hmm. And prior to the pandemic, I always went on holiday for my birthday. It's not my fault that it fell on. Half well, term. there you go, Kieran. Explained in a nutshell, people go on holiday in kids times when it's their birthdays. Yeah, there's going to be different scenarios, but I'm talking the people that choose to when they don't need to. Yeah, well, there might not be a lot of them. It might just be teachers and people like Abby with birthdays. You know what I mean? Ever thought of that one? Selfish. Right, so overtime tool talk. We had a comment sent in from uh, Baron Greenback. You can't go wrong with Makita. The Japanese know a thing or two about electric motors. Vestal impact driver is very well engineered too. Unfortunately, in order to get the best quality whilst maintaining value for money, you can't stick to one brand and end up having mixed manufacturers in your kit. The different battery systems make this impractical, really. My mate has a DIY level Ryobi that literally seems to have run forever. It wasn't expensive at all. It does the job. So he bought a second as a backup and he's not spent half of, say, a single Festool and they both do exactly the same thing. It's exactly what we were saying, Kieran, mm. isn't it? Do you know what I mean? You can get away with doing the job with not all the shiny, uh, sorry, beautiful, I, expensive I used tools that are out drill. there. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, you, you don't need to. You don't need to. You can get away doing this job. We've been doing it. Your plumber's done it for years. Chippy's done it for years without all this stuff. They built houses, I believe, in the 1950s, did they not? Without the 
flash power tools, they had hand drivers and all that malarkey. So you can do the job still without. I'm not saying they don't make it easier at times, but you know, you don't need the expensive kit if you're starting out. Don't need it, do you? Anyway, people get snobby over tools, hence colours manufacturers stick to. To be fair, the Hilti stuff is practically military grade. Take their nail guns, they are made like it lasts on the battlefield. And if you're fasting, sorry, fasting, I don't think that's a different subject altogether. And if you're fastening all day, then it's a no-brainer. But if you only need it occasionally, Ryobi or the like will suffice. It's all down to how much you use the machine. We'll see. And modern technology really has closed the gap between the middle and top end. We did put on there as well what the cost of a basic toolkit for like if you're just getting started. Yeah. So, Chris, how do you even say it? Chris Smith. <laughs> the S is missing, isn't it? Chris Miffs. Chris Miffs. Once a day, just accidentally leave someone else's tool in your pocket and you'll have a full set in no time. Sounds like tool theft to me, Chris <laughs> Miff, which we're trying to eradicate. <laughs> um, Jacob. HP20, been a plumber and heating engineer for 10 years, never had or used a wet vac. Are they worth it? Oh, my, my God. God. I need to know what he uses. For... You've got to use a wet vac as a plumber and heating engineer. That can't engineer. be true. What? That can't be true. No, it is true. He's Jacob, too, please tell too... us what you use to, like, drain down, like... Yeah, it's like, like empty a toilet so system. Yeah. I mean, they'd, well, you get a bowl underneath it, like emptying a bowl, wouldn't you? You know, he'll use a hose to drain down, blah, blah, blah. The point is, if you've got wet vacs... You don't need it. I you don't suppose. need it. Of course, you don't need it. But I think it's an essential. If you get in trouble, like there's some times oh, where it gets you don't out of you? trouble. Don't you? Man, the times I've had that wet vac out because of like, uh, maybe it's just because we get. Maybe Jacob is very careful and he doesn't need a wet vac. But maybe we're so rushy, rushy that we actually mm. need. It. My mates used to do rip outs of heating systems and fit systems in a day they'd be cutting out pipe work and that wet vac they drain down but then they'd be cutting out pipe work and they'd be putting them wet vacs there'd be two wet vacs in the property and they'd be sucking out all the like last yeah. bits of water and all that just to get it out even that even like draining down the tank getting the last bit yeah out you've got to get it out in yeah yeah so um yeah wet vac is an essential you must get one and if i was you i'd get the one from wix's because that is the cheapest and they go forever and apparently apparently don't quote me on this if they go wrong, you can take them back and they swap them. <laughs> AJ the gas man, solder kit, damn, become a new age plumber, use a crimp gun. I don't get like, we're asking for the cost. and <laughs> There's no cost in these comments. Yeah. Um, solder kit, damn, become a new, yeah. I mean, crimp guns, press guns as we call them. It's like, I think they have their place, but they're very expensive if we're going to talk about cost. Mm. Is it worth the cost? Over time, I think it, it will save you time, so it definitely yeah. worth the cost. Uh, C trillions, what the F is a multi-drill? What the F is a multi-drill? A multi-drill is like, it's it's in the clues in the name. Mm. <laughs> it does drilling, it does screwing, it does like, you see there's three different settings on it in there. Do you know what I mean? So like, um, yeah, a drill for all purposes within reason. Mm. Um yeah, but you, you need one. But there's, like we said, there's loads, isn't there? There's loads of different multi-drills. Like, loads. Oh, when you go and... Say if you went to buy a Makita, different size there's loads batteries, in there. different, different chucks, powers. different... Uh, yeah, it's great. I just want a normal multi-drill that can drill flat. You just bits. want two options. I want to drill through joists and I want to screw... Yeah. Screw. There's I don't even know. My multi-drill I just use for drilling... My multi-drill I use for cutting holes in baths. Mm. I drill through joists, and that's what that's used for. And every now and then, the odd hammer drill. Do you like, use an impact to... Use have you ever impact. used an impact to go through a joist, like a spray yeah, bit? Yeah, use that, yeah. Impact drivers do They're that. quite well. powerful, my, isn't it? I don't, like I don't I said, know if you meant to, but My impact powerful. driver, is, it's been going for years. Mm. I do need to get a new one. Ah, oh, I was on that job when I told you, didn't I? Me, me, um, I had a wired... Um, uh, multi tool, multi tool, yeah. Do you know what a multi tool is? <clears throat> got to have a multi tool, didn't you? Mm. Was on that job the other day, literally got through the wood that I was drilling. I had to cut the back of a unit out, cut the back, got halfway through the last side of cutting this back out, burnt out on me, didn't it? I had to go out and get a cordless one in the end, 135 quid mm. from Screwfix. Got one, 
So I've been wanting to get a cordless one for a while because dragging a lead about oh, is, is a nightmare, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? And they're quick release, mm. they're quick release uh, blades, blades on them ones as well. So yeah, don't need no Allen key to take nah, it. It, it, it forced my hand, which I'm yeah. I'm probably pretty glad that I got one now. So yeah, um, Hilti promo. Then we have got the Hilti promo. Yeah, Baz Brennan is Plumber Tales after a deal. Probably no. no. No, Baz, I'm not after it. I'm not after any deals. I'm not after. I'm just saying, Hilti is the ones that I remember, and th- like somebody's already said, they're bulletproof Hilties. They're they're they're, they're solid, pretty proper bit of machinery, aren't they? Just Hilti tools. That, that's that's all I'm saying, Baz. Mm. All right, sorry, mate. Just see you if you Dewalt earlier, whatever, mate. <laughs> Elevate plumbing and heating. I had all Hilti, great kit, but way too overpriced these days with Neuron coming out. Switch to Milwaukee fuel for everything now. Never look back. Mm. I mean, you see red Milwaukee and black. Milwaukee are making moves. Isn't it's they? all over social media. Milwaukee in it. Milwaukee. Mm. My mate, to be fair, never been on social media. Never done it. He's got Milwaukee stuff. Um, but I, I hear a lot of yes and a lot of no for it. Do you know what I mean? There's mixed responses on Milwaukee. Can't comment because I've not. I've never used it. Never. Do you know what I mean? Like I said, Makita man. Yeah. That's me. Um, right. Um, Hey, one re nine one. Shame Hilti decided to change the battery system and double the price of all new tools. They also removed the kits, so you have to buy the tool, the batteries and chargers separately. Can't comment on Hilti. Don't know about it anymore. Do you know what I mean? If that's the case, it sounds like yeah, they've price hiked in some way. You'd or think whatever. they'd um, sell it as a kit. You'd think they. You'd think that they might. Mind you, they've got their. If you're a Hilti man, you're a Hilti man. I think I think it's that is one of the things in it. Hilti are recognised and and they're and, just solid. They're aren't solid, they? and people who use Hilti, who 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 bought Hilti in the first place, are never going to go back to anything else. So they've got their customer mm. base, their niche. I wonder, yeah, because it's a lot of money to change. Yeah, so if you're already in that, I wonder what the longest go manufacturer is at all brand. Oh, Black and Decker, Dewalt, isn't it? Black and Be- Black and Decker are the wall, or well, they were the wall. Would you reckon they're the longest going brand? Oh, m- might be. We spoke about core drills. Yep. And this is oh, it's gone. Um, fussy OG, good old Titan brand. Literally rock up to screw fix. Say, lad, this stopped working, and they say, oh, what was you doing? I'm like nothing, lad. Just bit of light work, and they're like, no worries, lad. Here's a new one, and send you back out the door in three minutes. A lot of lads being spoken in that uh, conversation. <laughs> um, I'm guessing he's from up north, lad. Yeah. Mm. Um, but yeah, that sounds good, isn't it? You know what I mean? Bit of light work. Take your tool back. There's a receipt. Don't work. Swap it over. He's, like he's a, only had it four loophole, years. Isn't it? He's only had it four years. Just break it before the two-year point. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you can say that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was saying about the Wix's overs as well. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? They just say, yeah, it was only sucking out a bit of water and what? It's gone wrong. There's my receipt. I bet people do it, though. Of course they do. Be surprised. Object design. Titan cordial is a blessing and a curse. Mm. It can rip your arm off. You can know, be careful. Arm. Yeah, if you've got like weak arms like you, <laughs> I went back on that one again, are we? Uh, don't look at me like that. You lost fair and square. Right here we go. Episode four with Geo from Just Fix and Alistair from Trade Cart. This is something we mentioned. Was is a gas engineer just a fancy plumber promo? Gone. JRD Heating, got to agree with Geo here. I'm not a plumber and will definitely leave the toilets and the... Po- oh, my God, I've got a story on this. <laughs> Go on. JRD Heating, sorry. Got to agree with Geo here. I'm not a plumber and will definitely leave the toilets and the poo to you plumbers. I give you guys credit because my weak stomach can't handle it. Who mentioned the other day it showed... Oh, it was at rugby. They started bringing up, they said... Some guy said, if you went to a toilet and it was blocked, would you unblock it or just go to the next one? Like, it shows your character if you're willing to try and, like, unblock it. What, you mean in the public? Yeah. I would not unblock it. I bloody done it the weekend. What? I what, at the rugby club? It. No, when I was away in Muddyford. What, in a public toilet? Yeah, I went into Why? the toilet. Why would you do that? W- with my hand. What? <laughs> this is no joke. No, what, are you t- what, what are you on about, mate? What? It looked clean. Right, so I walked into the toilet. with two cubicles. Yeah. Someone was in the other one. Yeah. I went in the other. 
I really needed a number two. Right. And it was blocked up with tissue. Like I tried flushing, it wouldn't go down. But it weren't like it was clean tissue. No. Clean water. No. So I thought, sorry, dear, I'm gonna I wrapped my hand in tissue and I tried pushing it down. What are you on, <laughs> mate? What is wrong with you? Why would you do that? That does show your character. I like, couldn't get it down. I think sod it. Like it looked all clean. There was no, no poo in there. No, no. What do you mean? How long have you been a plumber and heat so, engineer? What do you mean it looked clean? It's a fucking toilet. Now you've made me swear. It's a toilet, Kieran. So, it's not clean. It's anyway, a public toilet. I thought sod it. I got my hand down the toilet and pushed it round the U bit. Oh, Kieran! <laughs> what is the matter with Flushed you? Flushed it and it still won't go. I was like, God oh, sake. that was worth getting me hand full of shit water. I was. So, <laughs> So I couldn't even go to the toilet. I walked out. The guy's still next you door. You walked out and you walked up to the lid and went, I love you. <laughs> no. I had to literally walk to the sink, wash my hands and wait there while the other guy comes out so I could go to the toilet. Kieran, there are people out there charging money to do that and you just done it for free. It was still blocked. It didn't work. What Some... I don't know why that... Maybe they ingrained something into my brain that... No, rugby. no, that's just weird, mate. And anyway, that's the to... first time I've ever done that. Yeah, well, at <laughs> the last. <laughs> no, no, what would you do that for? I wouldn't even do I that. I guarantee my own... someone's I done do that. that. At my own house, not your hair. I don't know why I stuck my hand down. I there. would it's never weird. do that at my own house <laughs> oh, without <laughs> protecting my hand with a big glove. Yeah, and like I wouldn't do it. You done it in a public toilet? What? The... Right, moving on. Jordan. Just because people... Listen, you're still a plumber just because you don't deal with toilets. Don't, not all plumbers deal with toilets. Obviously. Look, do you know if what I mean? If you've got to go, you got to go. I needed a toilet. And shit on top of it. Let it do or someone else deal no. with it. <laughs> What's the matter with you? It was a lot of tissue in Mate, there. that's how you get ill doing shit like that. Do you know what I mean? Right. Just never shake hands with Kieran. You know where he's been. Right. Pops Bridgewater. I'm a plumber of 52 years experience. Worker of lead, heating engineer, old school, plumber meaning worker of lead. Yes. I bet that, he wouldn't put his fucking hand down the toilet in the public a toilet, would he? old school plumber, fair play. Yeah, old school, old school, lead worker. Did you yeah. ever do lead work? Yeah. Yeah, i never done it. Only in college. What, on a roof? No. Nah. Never done it, and I've never charged for it. Never done it. Done it. Done it in college. Couldn't get on with it. Was rubbish at it. Tried oxycetylene burning. Was rubbish at it. I think we covered this before. Always burnt holes in it. Was mm. rubbish. Completely rubbish. Is an art. I've got a lead worker mate who I might actually ask on here, and he does watch this program. Mm. And at the moment, program. Did uh, I say program? <laughs> <laughs> We're not on the TV. <laughs> yeah, <the> <laughs> I might get him on this. Podcast. Yeah. I don't know why it's a program. I might get him on this podcast. Find us on Channel 4. Yeah, I might get him on here because he's just done a project, right? He's a really special project he's on. I right? see a message actually. Is he I Mark? went on TikTok now. He's done, he's Channel done, 4, so he's done his thing. I'm going to get him on here. I'm going to get him on. Mark, but if you're watching this, I want you on here because I want you to show the pictures of the lead work that you've done at this place. It's like, like a castle in the garden, mm -hmm. right? And some of the things they've asked for a lead knob, mm -hmm. right? Just saying that, yeah. Have you ever had any problems with lead locks before? Like you come across lead and... Oh, uh, lead locks, mate. They're all for it. Never know the size. It, poundage, isn't it? Yeah. It's all in pounds. No, no, normally a seven pound lead lock, isn't it? Normally, mm. the average is the seven pound lead lock. But uh, uh, it's not like you, you can... go into a property and you think, oh, man. Yeah, lead. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no one know about it. Don't want to know about lead. Do you know what I mean? Um, well, wit. Enio, <laughs> got to admit I hate being called a plumber when I'm, I'm multi-skilled. I'm just a kin snob, though. Yes, you are. There's nothing wrong with being a plumber. Kieran likes to advertise it in public that he's a plumber, obviously, by sticking his hand down a U-bend. Imagine if I didn't lock the door and someone walked behind me. Wrong, <laughs> if you mate. lock my hand down Do you the toilet. I mean? You're just a wrong one, mate. I can't get over that. Connor Bryden, I'm only qualified in gas. Some... I'm a, is that meant to be so? So I'm a gas engineer, but I don't take offence when a customer calls me a plumber. Good man, mate. Not everyone knows a you gas deal, engineer. You deal with pipes, you It's a easier just to say a plumber, isn't it? Yeah, you're a plumber, but everyone knows a plumber. Because normally when you go, you're a plumber, people go, oh, are you gas safe resident or are you corgi? And that's what they go. You know, he's a good guy. Are you corgi? Are you a corgi plumber? Uh, do you know what I mean? So um, go on then. What is the other one? Uh, go Old on. man Dave seventy two. Sorry, disagree. I know some heating and gas engineers who don't know how to do bathroom, <laughs> kitchen sinks, 
A plumber can do everything from the lead on your roof to right down to the drainage. He's correct. He's correct. He's correct. All right. Not every plumber, though. But let's just... Bam. I don't think you can do the lead on your roof. Mm. It's about. It's a bit like this old thing, isn't it? Like, right, because now we're separating trades a bit with interview. Like, like, now you've got, like, kitchen fitters, yeah? Yeah, like we said mm. not long ago. And then carpenters who work on roofs don't look as kitchen fitters as carpenters but kitchen fitters probably call themselves carpenters but actually they're kitchen fitters and then you've got bathroom fitters as well ain't you as opposed to just calling them plumbers the bathroom fitters because then they go in and they go oh we'll plaster that we'll put the electrics mm -hmm. up here we'll do the tiling we'll put your bathroom in we do everything we're bathroom fitters fine but a plumber will generally come along i consider myself a plumber because i do everyday jobs like i'm blocking toilets Paid hand. for, <laughs> do you know <laughs> what I mean? To fit in taps, to dealing with a heating problem on a pipe. Yeah. Can I just make it clear? If there was like poo down there, I wouldn't do it. It's just because it looked clean. It was a clean Sam. toilet. It's just tissue. Yeah, all right. With clean yeah. mains water okay. in there. Yeah, that makes you feel better, you weirdo. Sam, us proper engineers start off as plumbers. It's our roots. These fake wannabe engineers out there that fast track gas rather than doing a full four year apprenticeship are a joke. I think that's unfair a bit. I think that's yeah. a bit unfair to say. Because I'm one of those. Oh, I just well, think no, I, I have work not, experience. You, you work experience yeah, in yeah. it, yeah. I think, listen, like, it's changing all the time, and it? it's changing. You've got to now. So, is that like when you go and do like a heat pump course or whatever, you might not have ever fitted heat pumps before your newbie in that might only be on a fast track course to do a heat pump course but then you're going to be a fully fired heat heat, heat pump engineer mm -hmm. like uh, i think you you should have experience obviously yeah. it's no good like just coming out of an office job doing a like a, a fast track and then going hi i'm a heating engineer that but yeah that, i get that if, that if people work. are willing to take you on with no experience then yeah you've got to learn somewhere um right so Finish this sentence. We sorted this one, right? If I weren't in my current profession, I would be Royal Spa Decoration. <laughs> you were going to say Royal Spa Decoration. <laughs> <laughs> Royal Spa <per> Decoration. <laughs> Royal Spa <per> Decoration. <laughs> Royal Spa <per> Decoration. <laughs> It's because it's not separated. It's all about Royal, Royal Spa Decoration. Royal Spa Decoration. <laughs> in prison. He said he'd be in prison. Um, Oh, it was laughing naughty boy what have you done up. what did you tell do? us what you've done yeah pentagon carpentry and joinery absolute miserable in an office listening to people complain about it being too cold even though they wanted the ac turning on just can't get it right can you the ac nah we're not this country's not made for it big man <laughs> why'd you get the hard one <laughs> <laughs> big man <to> motors <laughs> <laughs> Big man TM TM right. Motors Right okay. <laughs> A stunt man What 80s kid Didn't want to be A cult Seavers <laughs> You have struggle struggle Your speech today <laughs> i tell you what I would be doing That would be the conundrum On fucking countdown <laughs> <laughs> A stunt man that, That'd the, be a cool job Hashtag the fall guy Yeah Did you ever watch the fall guy I never really watched it It's about a stunt man Wouldn't it Yeah Be really cool wouldn't it Being a stunt man have to be a stunt man. That would be cool. Hotting up limited, an executioner. <laughs> That's doesn't surprise yeah, me. No. <laughs> bit, of a, bit of a strange run you are, yeah. Pete, isn't you? Be yeah. worried of hotting up. Yeah, don't, yeah. If he's if he's walking around in a long Mac, half expect a sawn off <laughs> to be in there. Do you know what I mean? If his effects avoid him. Yeah. <laughs> Viper Direct VSG Antiques Dealer. Yeah. That's really? an interesting one. Ripping off people. Yeah, that's only worth a tenner, Making mate. fake antiques. It's, not, it's only worth a tenner. Yeah. Sells it. 500 quid. <laughs> right, next. Are plumbers resistant to the new tech? The not... You got... This is me and it's yep. blue. Not quite... The not quite pod. This is so interesting. I never considered the correlation before, but I guess with trade, it's about being confident in your methods especially with someone's house yeah depends if you're relating the tech to like a software or a tool like uh 
what are they called? Thermal cam, image cameras and all stuff like yeah. that. You could look at that as tech. Yeah. Chestnut plumbing. In 10 or 20 years, all that knowledge that isn't taught to the newbies will be gone and lost. I've sorted problems that new plumbers have looked at because of my experience, but crack on with your own ideas. So um, he's basically saying that uh, the new plumbers have not seen certain things. He's seen it, but they're not being taught it. So the newbies are going to come through and be mm. like, I don't know what's going on here. But then as stuff like we're saying, heat pumps and all that. You've that, got to go with the times. All the old stuff the will old. be dying out anyway. It's like um, it's like asbestos flues in it. The, mm. You're going to see less and less of them as time goes over the last 20 years. When we was first in it, we see a lot of asbestos flues. And now they're very much... Back boilers. They're, they're, they're sort of dying out in there. Mm. This is the thing, right? I don't get like, like back boilers in that. And I know people still service them. The old school is still service them. A few of our mates still servicing the old back boilers and open flues and stuff like that. Mm. I think like if you, on your ACS, you're doing your ACS, they're showing you how to do this. Yeah, You've still got to learn how to do all this open flue stuff. But I think to myself, if you're going to choose not to do it, it's like they give you elements, don't they? Yeah, you gas. should have it as an add-on. It should be an like add-on. Gas I think that should. I think that should now be yeah, an add-on. Yeah. I don't think it should be part of the ACS because they can earn more money that way. What, yeah, but but what it's doing is taking your eye off the. But if you don't, because all part of your ACS, I know what they're saying. What what they're saying is like, if you walk in to do a landlord's, mm. you have to inspect it visually anyway. I guess. But I just think to myself, if you're planning... The thing is, a gas to... fire hobby is an add-on, so like they're just trying to cover all boilers. Yeah, I know, but that there are add-ons, obviously. Mm. You've got to have your gas fires and your open flue, but your gas... Your gas hobs. Your gas hobs and all that mm. malarkey's extras. They but look on at your as an actual, appliance. But on though. your ACS, on the actual learning it, mm. on your, like your portfolio and all that, they're showing you how to do this, how to service them, how to... And I think to myself... If you've not got no planning of doing The thing that, is, if you do that once a year, you're going to forget all what they yeah, tell you. Yeah, like it sort of seems like a waste of time and it's going to cloud your judgment on what you really want to be learning on like, just, you know, mm. a lot of people are just doing their gas safe to fit boilers. That's all they want to do. They're mm. not interested in servicing. So if you're not interested in servicing, just go as, I just fit boilers, that's it. Mm. But then if you're fitting a boiler in a property with a gas fire, you've still got a relight and a mm. visual in you, I suppose. I've just answered my own question. I don't know. Mav Bravington. Problem is innovation is usually just a word for cheaper and quicker for the tradie, but not better for the customer. I'm trying to think of an example. What would be cheaper and quicker, which is Plastic something pipe. that's innovation? Plastic pipe. True. Yeah, that's very true. Rochford Heating. Press fit is the most overrated fad in domestic plumbing ever. Why? I don't think it is. I don't how, think... how long has it been out, Press Fit, would you say? It's been out years. Press has been out years, more more so in the commercial, commercial sector. Yeah. But they bought it into the domestic sector, obviously, because there was a call for it. Mm. If you're working, there's more domestic sectors you're working in now, which is on site and that, which require you not to have hot work. You don't want hot works on site now. They don't want you using hot works. If you had the budget there... You'd rather use Press than Push Fit, no? If You'd you had rather the budget, use Copper than pu Push Fit? Mm. If you had the budget on a job, full replum, new boiler. I wouldn't use press everywhere. You wouldn't? No. Nah, I'd only What's use it reason? I'd use it in the loft because it's too much money to push onto your customer. No, oh, but say if the budget was there, what would you choose, press or solder in? You could choose whatever you want. Me, uh, this is the thing. I, I, there's a, I've always said there's a place for press and that is if you've yeah. got water in a pipe already. Because generally you think solder's going to last a lot water longer. Water in a pipe already yeah. or if you're working in a loft with copper. It's a no-brainer to use it in a loft of copper. Mm. Why are you going to want to take a flame up in a loft? Why are you want to do that in a hot day in a loft to bring a flame up there with all that insulation around and possibility of a fire? Why are you going to want to do that when there's an alternative which doesn't need you to have a flame up there and you're still using copper? Press is perfect for that. Mm. It's not overrated. I think it's th there is a place for it, definitely. If there's any press gun firms out there who want to give me a press gun, thank you. <laughs> there's a little plug for you. Um, so, yeah, do you want to go on to the... We've got a little news story of the week. News of the week, you want me to do this? Yeah, All right, then, yeah. In this week's news, we've got a heartwarming story from the Seven Valley Railway. I've been on that railway. Have you? No. 
Is that in Wales? <laughs> Anyway, Phil Harris, a 71-year-old volunteer and one of the last lamp men maintaining oil lamps at the Erdington Station had his original Victorian toolbox stolen last year. Oh, that's not nice, is it? But thanks to the kindness of a fellow volunteer, Matthew Rowland, Phil received a handmade replica Victorian toolbox filled with tools. This thoughtful gesture deeply moved Phil, who's been volunteering for almost a decade. It's a wonderful reminder of the camaraderie that still exists in the world. It ain't going to have the same value, emotional value, is it? No, it's, that. it's, that's horrible though, isn't going it? Going on like old people just built different. Like even the weekend, you, you go past old couples in their seventies, eighties, still like doing their gardening outside. It's I don't think people are going to be the same when they're older. No, in this, these ages. No, because you, what you got to remember is these people were post. They just plod along. They and come, like, yeah, they but just they. Work. But you remember when these people were younger, they had nothing. Mm. They had absolutely nothing. Yeah, if you didn't have the money, you didn't have nothing. Mm. So you stayed together as a family unit, right? Because there weren't nothing else to do on a Sunday. Yeah, nobody was going to the shops. They were staying indoors. They were having a family day, Sunday, yeah? They just grafted, didn't they? They grafted together. That Listen, in those days, the lady was sort of like the homemaker, blah, blah, blah. Mm. The man went to work. He come home, he go to the pub, he come home, and nothing was said about it, but everyone just stood together because they come from war-torn mm. country, didn't they? And it was just that being together thing and not having anything else. Like, it, it wasn't any... There wasn't anything to like, you know, entice anyone like there is today. Mm. You look look around everywhere today. Everything's so free and easy to get hold of. If you wanted to get a brand new car as a bloody 20 year old, you can go out and get a brand new car if you want on finance. You can get a brand new TV. All these people, right, who live in poverty today, yeah, you look at the big fat TVs on the walls, yeah, half of them are fat. Right, so they're not starving, but they're in poverty, right? I'm not, this is just facts, right? But in the old days, if you didn't have nothing, you didn't have it. Do you know what I mean? So people learn to live together. But today, there's so much out there for people to get easily and like, and just forget about what's, yeah, what's reality. What's reality and what's real to them. Do you know what I mean? And social media is a massive benefit. That's a massive factor in, in, in people these days. We wouldn't take it away though. I wouldn't take it away, but like, I think it's a lot. Most success comes from social media. Yeah, I know that, Kieran. But it's, it's even what you learn, it's all on yeah, social media. But it has, it has, it has changed the world, and I believe social media has a massive impact on people's mental health. If you don't control how much of it you watch, if you don't control how, if you don't control yourself on it. It can it's have a concentration m- span, it, like all this. Oh, mate, you, you hear more people having ADHD because it's this is making you not focus. Yeah, it's huge. The amount of like things you, you'll be almost I'm guilty of it myself. You you find yourself just you're not even finishing looking at something that you looked at, or you you'll go to look for something and then you'll get like distracted and watch something that has no bearing to what you actually originally went to look for. Do you know what I mean? It, you really need to tone it down on the screen time because that ain't doing that much good. No good, no. Well, that was nice, wasn't it? <laughs> Let's plug ourselves on social media. Yeah. <laughs> keep watching, subscribe, keep scrolling. <laughs> let us know what you think if you want to comment. Yeah, how let you us think know. of this overtime show? What you want us is there anything you want us to add? Send in your stories. That that definitely helps. Even if it's a voice note. Yeah. Um yeah, send us in your stories. Just a reminder we're at Fex next week, so come and see us if you're there. Come and see us at Fex, yeah. Fill um, the room with both of you. <laughs> hopefully we'll get a little number there wouldn't we yeah but so, yeah thank you again for listening thanks for listening subscribe and comment if you wouldn't mind thank you very much bye all right this has been another episode of off the job podcast thanks for watching the show on youtube or listening on spotify amazon music apple podcast and all other streaming platforms if it's your first time watching or not make sure to subscribe below and follow us on all the big social media stuff like facebook Instagram, TikTok. For our overtime show on Monday, send us in your stories and comments for it to be read out on the show. Send it in via email, direct message through our social media accounts or WhatsApp us on 07457 406259. And we'll see you on the next episode.